Good morning guys, Nick here from Team Aquascape. If you didn't already, we have this retail area in the back to work on while Chris and Ed and Brian and Greg are all gone for the week. So I'm hoping that we make a lot of progress to really impress these guys when they get back. It will be nothing short of a miracle to get done what I wanna get done this week. But what I was so excited about coming back home to was to try to see the progress. Oh my God. kind of have a little bit more freedom sometimes when the guys are gone, so we gotta keep our stuff together so we can get all this stuff done, because when they get back, we wanna have as much of this done as possible. The bog is going in, the gravel's going in for the mat, and then we're gonna set off the box. Our walls are basically built, as you can see behind me, so we're just cruising right along. See right here, me and Juan did a heck of a job on this wall yesterday, as well as this wall, which is gonna be a retaining wall for our bog. This is gonna be kind of our skimmer in place here. Me and Juan taking this over right now. Looking great. I gotta set this down and get some work done. So check this out, we got our stairs in place here. This is gonna lead you up to this deck that's gonna hang off over this bog. So this is gonna be cool. All integrated in the pond, obviously. But what we wanna do is have a deck that comes out in cantilevers over this edge so that you can look straight down into the water, see the fish. But what we have to do is figure out how to bring this deck across all the way out there because this deck pushes all the way right over to here where we're gonna have steps that go down to a landing on the little pocket right there. Well, that's a long, Long journey to get there. So I need to run to Menards, get some lumber, and then we are gonna get this deck rolling today. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit when we got some more lumber over here. Quick project update. I haven't been with you because I've been sicker than a dog lately. And these guys have really been taking over a lot of this project. I will show you what mostly those guys got done the past couple days. If you remember, we had these stairs in the other day. Now we have this base for this deck down. And basically we're gonna have boards that come straight across. Obviously our wetland is underneath here. We have a little bit of an overhang there. So you'll be able to look straight off that edge, straight down. Oh, that's a, you know another enclosure right here. And then we'll have a set of stairs that go down to this deck, so that's high enough where kids will still be able to look over that edge, and then we'll have another set of stairs right there taking you back down. We should have gravel in this today, and water. We'll see what happens. All right guys, so a big moment for us today. Gravel is in. Micho's washing everything down right now. We have about seven different things that we got going on right now in hopes that we can get this all done before those guys get back. This deck is totally built. We just have to put our polyurethane on that. We have all of our boards in the back that have polyurethane on them. We have a laser so we can get a perfectly nice level deck all the way across. We have straps that are going on the back to hold down the back of the deck. Juan is cutting a piece of plexiglass. I can't even see that, it's so freaking nice. You see that plexiglass there? That's what's gonna keep our water level. And then we will also have a piece of plexi right over here, and that will keep fish from going in the skimmer. We'll just have a bunch of holes in that. So things are coming together. We are not that far off, so we're gonna keep plugging away and get this stuff done before those other guys get back. We have water going in this pond right now, so that's a huge step for us. We're hoping to have most of this build up today. Basically, this whole thing can get finished and hopefully running by the end of today. Ooh, look at that. Nice. So we have trim boards all done already. Those are gonna go down today once this fills up just a little bit more, sucks that liner down. We put a nice coat of polyurethane on this deck yesterday, so that's looking really, really nice. 
All of our deck boards already have polyurethane on them. Get all those situated so that deck is gonna be fully functional today. Everything's gonna happen really fast today. This is like all the prep work for this week is just gonna come together today. And we're gonna be able to get this thing. Should be finished, hopefully running by the end of today. So let's get to work. These guys finishing up trim over here. It's looking awesome. The mats over here working on a wall that's gonna go right there and carry that way. It's gonna box out everything that was there before. So that's gonna be a nice addition. You can see these guys got the framing out a nice door right there. That's looking perfect as well. The big news for today though, we are almost completely full of water here. It'll be momentarily that we'll be turning this thing on for the first time. It's kind of Everybody's getting kind of antsy. Everybody's excited. We're just waiting for that water to break that. If we can get this thing up and running, we will have accomplished our goal of getting this done before all the guys get back from Australia. So we'll catch back up with it when this thing gets plugged in. It's gonna be close. All right guys, so Micho's about to plug this thing in. It's gonna be the first official test run of this thing. Here goes nothing. So we have these jets over here that are gonna push all that water this way. And we got water moving out of the wetland, which means that thing is working. Ooh, look at that water ripping over there. That's so perfect. <laughs> well, we know that's working. All right guys, so it's the next morning and this thing has absolutely cleared up. Pretty incredible what this thing did overnight with this wetland filter and I'll show you how clear this is. A nice little weir area and a brick series is pulling that water through, drawing everything over to the skimmer. The wetland's pushing over here. This area is keeping water moving over here. Everything is working through this. We are about to move this tank to get that out of here before we close ourselves off. We are building a partition wall that comes across this deck and will come all the way over right where this tank is at now. If we don't take it out now, we have no way of getting this tank out because there will be a small door here, way too small to get that out. So the guys are getting stuff prepared right now. And then we have to move this one as well. As you can see the water, crystal clear and we are gonna kick butt today because we are gonna get the rest of this wall up might even get that wall up we're gonna get all this sheeted and then put a door in there build a closet right where this thing's at put a door there can't say it better myself Nothing's impossible with aquascape. Like, no. So now that the pond is done, we get to focus on some of the more carpentry-ish stuff that we've been doing. So you can see behind me, we built this room. We also have this little closet. That'll be a great space. Check all this out. This is a slat wall and it's gonna be awesome because we'll be able to hang hooks in this, put a lot of retail merchandise for fish, like nets and fish food. And we did put a few fish in there yesterday to make sure that those things are gonna be perfect. And they are loving it, by the way. Up here, a pergola going in, just like we have in our retail store. All this is gonna be sheeted with metal and that's gonna be wrapped up. Hopefully today, we're gonna get back to work, get that pergola hung up. Yeah, keep kicking it. Rocking and roll. It feels like an eternity the last time I was actually here. Maybe because we were out in Australia for 10 days, but what I was so excited about coming back home to was to try to see the progress, oh my God, of what the guys got done while we were gone. Hold on, let me show you what they did. What a difference. I am like, I'm actually grinning ear to ear. It's so incredible. So last time I was here, 
This was basically finished, right? We had to get this big kicker in here to make sure that this wall wouldn't push out again. These are actually fish retailing signs and this thing's doing good. In fact, there's even some fish in here which seem to be uh, doing well and look at how crystal clear the water is. Here's the progress of this. The last time I was here, none of this was here. A couple stairs here, little viewing platform, not only for the koi on this side, but for what's gonna be the monitor, alligator snapping turtle, other turtle. So none of this was up and running. Bog filter was starting to go in just before I left. They obviously finished that, finished all the plumbing, which runs in between. So we have some bulkhead fittings that come through the liner. We're getting crazy amount of circulation in here. Water not only pumps across the surface, but there's another one that goes down and then back out that way. This whole thing rises up and then spills over right here. So this water rises and then goes across that way into this tank. The constructed wetland filter is underneath this deck. Cool, they've already got some fish in here. Again, you can see how clear that water is. So these are just a couple of little guys. The fish that will permanently live in here are gonna be about twice the size of those. So this big tank, we're gonna sell 18 to 24 inch size fish. This tank over here are gonna be more like 10 to 12 inch size. And then that tank back in there, comets and more domestic koi. Love the corrugated steel against the wall. Love this pergola structure. Really, really cool. So we've got this whole wall going up. We'll have this corrugated steel continue across here, up and over there. We'll continue the cedar right there. We have a huge barn door going in right here. We built the retail store, a little closet just to store some stuff. But I'm super proud of the guys. Can't believe they got this much work done. Unfortunately, I go out of town again. I'm heading out to Dallas to look at a project and then to Seattle to meet up with the pond guy. While I'm gone, they're gonna start working on this space here. Hopefully you guys can hear in my voice how proud I am of the guys and what they got done while I was gone. Nick, Micho, Udi, Matt, and Matt, you guys did an incredible job. Not only are you fantastic pond builders, but you're obviously some skilled carpenters. Can't wait to see how far you get in that area. And you guys are doing all of this based off of a couple drawings that I've done. Best of luck, see you next time, bye.